Hey everyone, Kendall here. So today we're going to see what $20 and two USB thumb drives can do in a RAID 0 array. Uh, logic would say that the speeds would double, but is that actually true? I don't know, let's find out. So uh, I'm using two USB 3.0, 32 gig SanDisk Ultra drives. Uh, first we'll create a test partition to get a base point and then uh, with our single thumb drive, and then we'll go ahead and configure the two USB thumb drives in RAID 0. So in order to do that, you just want to go up top and uh, click erase after you select one of your thumb drives and then uh, we'll just call it test and then we'll go ahead and create it. So that basically gives us a drive to use our test benchmark program against in order to test the drive to get a base point. So we'll go ahead and click on the utility here. We'll make sure we select that test drive because that's what we called it. And then we'll go ahead and hit start. All right, so the writes are not bad, realistically. I mean, they're not great. I mean, I didn't expect super, super fast speeds here. Uh, I'm not comparing this to an SSD. Again, we're just spending $20, so uh, I needed a couple USB thumb drives anyhow, and I figured, hey, they're only 10 bucks each. Let's grab two of them, and let's just put them in a RAID 0 array and see what happens. So uh, the write speeds aren't bad. To give you a base point, regular spindle disk drives are about 135-ish uh, megabytes a second. SSDs, good SSDs around 500 megabytes a second and then obviously if you step up to NVMe flash storage you can get you know 2,000 megabytes a second um, but again we're not comparing them we're just curious to see what happens here so uh, what we're gonna do is go to file up top go to raid assistant and we'll select zero and then we're gonna select both our SanDisk Ultra drives and then we'll go ahead and click next after we click next let's uh, call this raid so we'll go ahead and type that in and then we'll click next and then we'll go ahead and go through it with it so it unmounted the drive here so what we're going to do is just go ahead and go through the wizard again and uh, select zero again we'll select the two drives we're not concerned about data redundancy we're concerned about speed right that's what this test is about so let's just go ahead and go through with it here um, and again, we're only using 64 gigs is, you know, if you take those two drives, roughly you're gonna get 64 gigs of data. This isn't uh, a viable solution for probably anything really out there today because there's better solutions out there. Um, like again, I was saying, it's more of a curiosity. I was curious what they could do, how far technology is with the read and the writes. Uh, my opinion is the reads will probably be pretty decent, but the flash technology on the writes on these USB thumb drives without spending a lot of money and uh, you could probably buy an SSD to get the same disk size basically and better performance in an SSD to these thumb drives. So I guess I won't, I'm trying not to go there. I'm trying to stay away from that. But basically what I'm trying to say is I just don't think the right speeds are going to be there. I just don't think the technology is there in this small form factor of a format without spending premium dollars. So um, it went ahead and created the RAID array. So we'll open up our utility and we'll just make sure we select the drive, which is called RAID. And then we'll go ahead and click open and then we'll go ahead and start the test. So it doubled the speed. So this is about spindle disk speed, which, you know, isn't horrible. Uh, it will, I'm pretty curious to see what the read speeds will be because uh, they should, yeah, like I thought, they should be pretty good. So, you know, that's not bad for $20. I mean, not bad at all. So there might be a use case where you might actually find this viable. You might use it for something. Uh, the reads obviously is what you'd want to use it for if you were going to do something like this. The write speeds aren't spectacular by any means, but again, these fit in your pocket. And the cool thing about this is you can take a couple of these drives with you. And uh, once you've created that RAID array, if you're using it on your laptop, let's say, or something, whatever you have uh, on a Hackintosh or a Macintosh, you can plug them in any port I found and it'll recognize the RAID array. In, with inside uh, Mac OS Sierra. So that's pretty cool if you're using them for copying files um, off of the thumb drives, right? Because the read speed is, is fast um, or viewing the data on the thumb drives, you know, it'd be fairly fast. Uh, the write speeds are coming down. So it's almost back to where it was to start out with. So that as an option probably just isn't viable. But again, um, this was simply just a test to see how far your $20 would go and what it would do. So um, as always, guys, I appreciate you guys for watching and hopefully you learned something. Thanks.